the Albanian Bobolina, the only woman in Russian history to become admiral. No other woman in Russian history has had this honor bestowed upon her. What's more, Laskarina Bobolina never commanded a Russian warship in her life. The Fighter In her company, the insecure were filled with resolve, while the brave who came face to face with her, backed down. Wrote historian Ioannis Philemon of Laskarina Bobolina, 1821-1829, the hero of the Greek War of Independence from the Ottoman Empire. Her reputation for acts of valor resonated beyond Greece, having also been the subject of Russian fascination. Bobolina lived a fascinating life. She was born in a Constantinople prison her mother would visit her father, who participated in the anti-Turkish rebellion of 1769-1770. Laskarina's second husband also took part in the Russo-Turkish War of 1806-1812. After his death at the hands of Algerian pirates, Las Carina became heir to a large inheritance. She could have spent her days living in comfort, raising her six children. However, Bubalina decided to continue in her family's footsteps and joined the Greek Revolution. The Greek Hero Even before the uprising, Bubalina was active in financially supplying the secret organization Feliki Eteria, Society of Friends, which fought for Greek independence. By the start of the Greek Revolution in 1821, she was already commanding her own fleet, consisting of eight warships, headed by the 18-cannon flagship corvette, the Agamemnon. Despite being more than 50 years of age at the time, she personally took part in the fighting. Her forces helped free several cities and capture the well-defended Palamidae Fortress in Nafplio. The city had become the first capital of modern Greece. In May 1821, during the Battle of Argos, she lost her son, Yiannis Genuza. The historian Anargyros Hatsi Anargyros, who bore witness to the fighting, later wrote, It is indeed a rare sight in the history of man, a woman takes up arms, a wealthy woman who decides to sacrifice on the altar of the homeland her ships, her money and her sons, she had the heart of a lion. Despite her amazing heroism, Bubalina's death did not occur on the battlefield. In 1825, a spat occurred between the Bubalina and Kutsi's families the latter did not wish to wed their daughter to Bubalina's son. Laskarina was shot dead during a heated quarrel. She had only had five years left to wait until Greece had won its independence. The Russian Hero Bubalina was well known and respected in the Russian Empire. The Greek people themselves Orthodox Christians aroused a deep admiration among Russian society. Bubalina who was known as Babalina in Russia was often portrayed on paintings, interestingly, always on horseback, instead of a ship, and the subject of numerous works of literary fiction including those by the mighty Nikolai Gogol, Ivan Turgenev and Nikolai Leskov. Russian Emperor Alexander I, having heard of Laskarina's death, posthumously awarded her the honorable rank of Admiral of the Imperial Russian Navy. In all of Russian history, she remains the only woman to have ever received the title. The Authentic Albanian Laskarina Bubalina, May 11, 1771 to May 22, 1825, was an Arvanite naval commander, the heroine of the Greek War of Independence in 1821, and an admiral of the Imperial Russian Navy. According to the General Theodoros Pangalos, Many of the Arvanites did not know the Greek language or learned it with the help of the church. Nor can religion unravel the relationship between two peoples. In the wars against Ali Pasha, for a long time, before deserting, the Kams, Muslims of Thesprosia, were among the main allies of the Arvanite, Albanian, speaking Christian Suliots. When the Greek Revolution broke out, all of Attica, as well as much of Corinth, Argolita, Boeotia, Thyotis, and Euboea were inhabited by Arvanites. The only ones who did not speak the Albanian language in Attica were the inhabitants of Megara. These people who spoke another language liberated Athens. Arvanitica, or Albanian, was spoken in Spezza, writes Michel de Greece through Bubulina's mouth. In fact, my mother, my father and I were Greeks without being like that. We were Greeks with soul and heart, with religion and ideals, and of course Greeks, of sacrifice, because we also gave our lives for Greece. But not Greeks by blood.
I am an Arvanite, Albanian. From a long time, our race has had very different names. Are the Pelasgians Illyrians? I know that Hydra is Albanian and Spica also.